Gulfik. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. I can't believe Odin and Freya were having errands. And we'll pick this up later.
seen one of those before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Govi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know. You know very little. We could beach the boat here. Bothar. Fremont. Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plagued these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. The thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor, but his judgment was swift and brutal. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govig? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. This does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Oh! <laughs> 
Perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Oh, he disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. I can't believe Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. But I can just tell you this story later.
It's a fragment of a language sign. We should look for more like this. bone yeah we might as well return them to the spirit maybe he will keep his word I know she's not coming back okay I know I just never mind I just got with Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. You were saying something about love and hate being intertwined. Yes. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Jorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Jorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. 
And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. And we'll pick this up later. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! Evni Bukarbithyast. She says she'll honor our request. Eldifagna. And reunite us? In Gowder! Okay, you were right. So. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. <laughs> 